welcome back to another video this video is going to be me showing you guys my top 10 favorite fonts for youtube thumbnails banners logos whatever these fonts are very versatile and they look really nice and sleek easy to read and they are all free so without further ado let's get started okay for number one i have to go with lemon milk bold this is my favorite font of all time it's iconic to my channel because i've been using it for a long time i'm sure some of you guys remember if you guys remember leave down in the comments below this font is awesome and really that's all there is to say about it i would highly recommend it um the light the bold the medium all of it looks super good and you can find a use for any of it the only concern i have with it is that it's a little bit wide so like it's kind of hard to fit a lot of text and a thumbnail with it but it's okay if you layer it and put some of the text on top of the others if that makes sense by the way the links to all of these fonts will be down in the description below if you guys want to download them yourself now let's move on to the second best font by the way these are in no particular order they're all just equally good except i would say lemon milk is peak but anyways the next one we got is this one right here that i'm not even going to try to say i've tried saying it before and i probably got it wrong but you guys can see it if you're not blind and this one is super clean as well it's personally one of my favorites and i'm pretty sure this is already in photo p and maybe photoshop by default maybe not photoshop but i think it's in photo p by default so you won't even need to download this just search for it in the font search uh, but this just looks so nice and really it's simple i do like how the text is kind of squished together so you can fit a lot of text in like a thumbnail or whatever it's just an all-around really good font and very versatile next one we got is anton i believe that's how you say it maybe not antoine perhaps <laughs> probably not but uh anyways this one's pretty nice as well it's not my favorite necessarily but it does look pretty good and let's just go ahead and try typing in some preview text here whoa i'm not even typing that in it's just typing it on its own it's oh what okay I guess you guys gotta subscribe now, right? It's it's what it says. Anton says to subscribe to me, so I guess you guys have to. But no, this is a pretty good preview because this looks a lot better than the uh, than this right here, in my opinion. I think it's because of the uh, all caps. It just makes it look a lot better. And now it kind of moved up on my favorite list because I think that looks really good. Now let's move on to the next one. We got Oswald. It's simple, straight to the point. It's pretty clean. You could use this for anything. Uh, this would probably be better on... Um, I wouldn't say thumbnails necessarily, which it would look good on a thumbnail, but maybe like, uh, like a banner under the, uh, name of your channel. It says like weekly videos or something. You know what I mean? I think this would look pretty good there. Maybe I'm not making sense, but in my head, like it makes sense, but you guys know what I mean, right? Like, do I have to show you an example? Okay. Let me show you an example. So let's go to my channel, for example, right? First you want to click subscribe, but, uh, Normally people have their names here and then they have like weekly uploads or like gaming, vlogs, designing, you know what I mean? I think that's where Oswald would come into play. That's just where my brain goes. So let's move on to the next one. We got Poppins. This one has a really nice light font right here. This looks beautiful and it looks even better when it says that too. But yeah, this one's really nice as well. Kind of the same thing as the last one. I do think it would look good for thumbnails, but it might look even better elsewhere. But yeah, let's move on to the next one. We got Luckiest Guy. This one is in Photo P, if I'm not mistaken, because I think I've used this before. And uh, this one looks really good. It's kind of, uh, I don't know what the word is. If I were to put it in a category for fonts, I'd put it in like comic or whatever. That's kind of the vibe I get. This one's definitely not as sleek and clean as the others, but it does have a place and it'd be good for like a funny moments video or something like that because it's kind of goofy looking if that makes sense i don't know i might just sound like out of my mind like as i'm talking i'm like okay what is he on about but yeah this one looks really good let's move on to the next one we got bangers and i'm pretty sure this one is also in photo p this one's good i would say the exact same thing as i did with this last one Definitely doesn't look super clean, but it does look good. And I'm sure you can find a place to use it, like a gaming video or something more, uh, not as serious, I'd say. Now the next one we got Fred Oka, Fred Daka, I don't know. Why are these font names so weird? This one would probably work for pretty much anything, especially with the bold 
as well as the light. I think it's very versatile. And it has like a nice chill vibe to it, if you know what I mean. Like I feel relaxed just looking at it. It just looks very peaceful. Next one, we got Chewy. This one is kind of a mix of, I would say luckiest guy and this last one right here. Does that make sense to you guys? Do you see it? I don't know. I see it. Yeah, this one's definitely not like super clean either, but look at that. It looks very creative and artistic. I like this one a lot as well, but I probably wouldn't use it too much because I feel like it's pretty situational. And for the last one, we got Baloo. This one's on a different website, by the way, uh, but this one looks really cool as well. And it kind of looks like the last one, but a little bit more clean. And I definitely think you guys should check this one out because I don't know. I've never seen this one before, but it looks really nice. And we got one more bonus one for those of you that stuck around until the end of the video. And it is Imatic SC. This one looks awesome and it looks pretty familiar to me, but I don't remember it being called this. There's another font that looks like this and I can't remember what it is. If you guys know, let me know in the comments. This one would definitely be on like a cinematic video of like the Grand Canyon or something like that. You know what I mean? Like you just, it looks like that. It looks really creative and I like it a lot. So I figured I'd throw that in there as a bonus one. Uh, but yeah, that's all of the fonts. Hopefully you guys found some that you want to use and uh, let me know your favorite down in the comments below. And that's all I got for you guys today. So I hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.